hello. Today I thought I would do this very little six inch canvas and I had the idea of a kind of a seascape but I wanted to do some white at the top and some dark blue at the bottom and then have lots of different colours in the middle and then they could kind of merge together but still leaving the white at the top and the blue at the bottom. So I thought I would try it on a six inch canvas and then if I really like it I thought I would do it on a bigger canvas or maybe change it slightly um, because I really like the half and half pictures where you have them split in two. Um, I've done one dark blue background uh, which I really liked the blue background um, so I thought rather than just do the white at the top and the seascape I thought if I had a dark blue at the bottom I thought perhaps they'd merge into each other a little bit just make it a little bit different so that was what I thought I would try so I have mixed up um, some nice colours I have got this is phalo blue um, I've got some gold um, I've got some turquoise uh, cobalt blue sky blue and then just the white and they are all mixed with flow troll and water no silicon and I thought for the middle section I would just kind of layer them on and then blast them around a bit with my hairdryer and we would see what would happen and I thought if they merged with the two halves one being white and one being blue and they go over the edge a little bit into each other seeping I thought that might be nice with it only being a small canvas um, I don't need too much paint on there I don't feel that I've got to particularly fill the canvas with paint because I think by the time it is blown around a bit I think it'll be okay Um, this cobalt blue uh, is a deco art one. It is um, mixed with a little bit of the very icy blue colour in the deco art um, just to make it a bit lighter so it contrasted with the really dark blue of the phalo blue. It'll just be interesting to see what it all looks like really. A little bit of white. And a little bit of gold just to make it nice and shimmery. There, so that's got those colours on. So I'm going to cover it in white a little bit the top and cover it with blue a little bit at the bottom and then with my hairdryer 
I will blow the colours over each other and we shall see what happens. Looks pretty so far. faster hairdryer. I don't want to blast it too much. straw just to sort of arrange it slightly. Yes, that's looking quite nice. I just wanted the contrast between the white at the top and the dark at the bottom, really. I didn't necessarily just want it all to be one. So I think that's uh, achieved, really, what I wanted. And it's only a little six inch um, canvas, so I don't think it really needs too much kind of fiddling with. I'll put a heat gun on it and then we'll see what happens. Those colours look very interesting together with the dark and the light. I think that what I will do is I will do it on a bigger scale, but I think I probably need a bit less paint um, in the middle. I think I probably just need more white and more dark and then uh, there. So what I will do is let that rest and dry and then tomorrow I will come and uh, show you what that looks like while it is drying and you'll be able to see how that changes. 
but yes I'm quite happy with that that is what I wanted to achieve but I think next time I will do more dark and more white and maybe the strip in the middle of the colours just that little bit smaller there so I will turn this off now and then I will show you that tomorrow so bye for now Well, here is this little six inch canvas, about 24 hours after I painted it. So it is drying quite nicely now. Um, it stayed pretty much the same, really, I think. It's uh, looking very nice with all those colors and a little bit of kind of lacing, I guess, on the top. There it is. Just thought I'd show you that as it was drying. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little video and I will see you again next time. Bye bye.